He said, every night, but if there is anything that should be a hindrance tonight to God's perfect will being done in your life, anything within or, any, or anything without, let the blood cleanse tonight. Come on, begin to call on him right now tonight. We come by the blood, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Ah, let the blood speak tonight. No hindrance, no limitations, no restrictions. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. the overflowing streams is the source from whom all blessings flow. Hallelujah. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Always know that that is the basis for which we are here today. Because of the blood of Jesus. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And through that blood, we have access by a living way into the very presence of God. The blood will speak on your behalf tonight. 
Whatever situation it is, the blood will speak on your behalf. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 18 to 20, and I read from the message translation of the Bible, verse 18 to 20. It says, again, God's message, I'll turn things around for Jacob. I'll compassionately come in and build and rebuild homes. The town will be rebuilt on its old foundations. The mansions will be splendid again. Thanksgivings will pour out of the windows. Laughter will spill through the doors. Things will get better and better. Depression days are over. They'll thrive. They'll flourish. The days of contempt will be over. They'll look forward to having children again. To being a community in which I take pride. I'll punish anyone who hurts them. Some of you, your amen was stronger for I'll punish. All the other ones were blessings too. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Why are we so after punishing? The, the other ones are blessings. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll turn things around for Jacob. Things are going to turn around for you. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the covenant that you have with him. Come on, begin to declare it into your life. Things are going to turn around for the better. In the name of Jesus, you will be revived, you will be renewed, you will be refilled, you will be restored. Every blessing, every favor that heaven has earmarked for you shall become yours. Yes, Lord. Tonight, turn it around for that brother, for that sister. Turn it around in the name of Jesus. Turn it around. Turn it around. In Jesus' name. Then he said in that passage, of, he said, Thanksgivings will pour out of the window. Not you wondering what's happening. Not you mourning. Thanksgivings will pour out of the window. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It says laughter will spill through the doors. That is the portion of your household. That's the portion of your business, your career, your destiny, your ministry, your purpose. In the name of Jesus. He said things will get better and better. Oh, come on. How many will declare that into their life? Things will get better and better. Things. Come on, mister. What's his name? Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Oh, the Lord is on the throne. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. days are over. The people that should be most joyful on this earth are supposed to be Christians. Because our joy is not dependent on what's here. And that's where the Bible says, if in this life alone you have hope, you have all men most 
miserable. Even though I want the things of this life, the things that pertains to life, but I don't let my joy come from a new car, a new house, or anything. Praise the Lord. They are just accessories. I woke up one, one day, you know, there's a, something, a, a very, an English I don't use regularly. It says accoutrements. I said, what is that? I had to go and check. You know, sometimes God is speaking to you. He said, don't bother about accoutrements, Deepo. Things that are around things, the way things are packaged, go for the substance. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's how you're going to be joyful all the days of your life. Hallelujah. Depression days are over. They will thrive. They will flourish. The days of contempt will be over. Where they look down on you, they start to look up to you. Where they've spoken against you, they start to speak on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. Then they said they will look forward to having children again. That is production. Things are going to be happening. Beautiful things. Inventions. Creativity. Fresh things. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Give God praise tonight. I said give God praise tonight. Depression days are over. He came to give you the oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. If Jesus said this is why I came in Luke chapter 4. When he had read that passage in Isaiah. So why should I ever be depressed? Because he said I've come to give the oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness and beauty for ashes. Every place of brokenness will begin to turn around in the name of Jesus. Come on, just begin to magnify him tonight and thank him because this word will become real in your life. Begin to magnify him. Your days of contempt will be over. Makarabasa. When people look at you with contempt, your days of contempt will be over. You will thrive, you will flourish. Things will get better and better. Depression days are over. Thanksgiving will pour out of the windows of KICC, of your family. Laughter will spill through the doors. God will turn things around for you, even in this season. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We declare your majesty. We proclaim that your name is exalted. For you reign magnificently rule victoriously and your, your power, power to through all the end. And we esteem our God is mighty. Lift up your
majesty, your majesty. We proclaim that your name is exalted. For you reign, my magnificently rule, victorious the end. Your power shows.
of the living God, we welcome your presence. Lord, move mightily in our midst. Touch somebody's life. Let tonight be remarkable. Let tonight be special. Let the heavens open up on us. Revive our spirit. Revive our spirit. Let somebody know that you care about them today. Remember them for good. Lord, remember them for good. Jesus, remember them for good. Father, remember them for good. We return all the glory to you, all the honor to you, all the praise to you. In the name of Jesus. But you have to get a magnify the Lord tonight. Give God glory. Come on. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Give God glory. Welcome to one more night, the third night of uh, Overflowing Streams. And tonight is going to be a very special night because it's a night of divine remembrance. I don't know how long it has taken, but I, I like to announce to someone that God will remember you. This is the season when God will remember you. I say again, God will remember you. The whole of tonight is going to be more of the prophetic, just prophesying into your life. Uh, just straight from here, that God will remember you. I still don't have a release to lay hands and do those maybe from tomorrow. I just want to just flow with the Holy Spirit. I've, I came tonight to let somebody know that you will be remembered. And so in the next one hour, I'm just going to be prophesying into your life that God will remember you. Malachi 3.16 makes an announcement to us that God is about to open a book of remembrance. And somebody will be remembered. It says, then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another. And the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. Remain standing. You've heard me say before that the concept of divine remembrance is almost a contradiction, an oxymoron. How can the God who knows all things have to remember? If he is omniscient, why will he need to remember but the divine remembrance of God does not mean he forgot, therefore he is remembering. Divine remembrance is more like saying, in heaven, on the computers of heaven, it is your time. It is your season. So, and you know when something comes, when it is time for the alarm to ring, bang, the alarm begins to ring. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. I don't quite like alarms, but uh, thank God for Pastor MC's alarm this morning, or else you will have done morning glow yourself. <laughs> I was so tired yesterday. I don't know what happened. I kept waking. I wake, I look at the clock. I said, there's still 40 minutes. And I'll close my eyes again until her alarm alarmed me, but I shall not be alarmed. <laughs> so help me to thank her. <laughs> I'm making a confession today. <laughs> I hate alarms, but that alarm worked today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So in the courtroom of heaven, there comes a season when God remembers you. And listen, you may have been through so much, but when your season of remembrance comes, favor like a roller coaster, favor like a roller coaster favor like a roller coaster begins to roll upon themselves is somebody ready tonight and so we see that language you see look at me look at me all this nonsensical debate about using the right gender for god and uh, using a she or a he or a it is absolutely ludicrous nonsensical God was revealed within a culture. If God were revealed within a Chinese culture, 
we will probably have many, many words to describe relationships. In the Chinese culture, they have up to 70 levels. In the English culture, once you say somebody is your cousin, and then it's your, after cousin, you run out of, then you say second cousin, then you say third cousin. Where I come from, every born in my village is my brother. <laughs> you know, every lady from my village is my sister. In fact, you see people who come from the same town as I do, when uh, their wives see me, they'll say, my husband. And I don't know nothing about when they married her. <laughs> is somebody following me? <laughs> I, I, I remember going to preach for one of the pastors in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Matter of fact, their headquarters, their international headquarters right now, the pastor there is from my hometown. I get there, I can't remember the pastor's wife's face. She said, my husband, you forgot me. I'm thinking, Jesus, I know my wife. My wife knows me. <laughs> Praise God. So you find that in, the, I mean, anthropomorphic language had to be used to write the Bible. When the Bible says the arm of the Lord is not short, you think God has this kind of hand? He can't because he has to be immanent. Um, the immanence of God means he has to be everywhere at the same time. As he's meeting your need here, there are a million churches that are still praying the New Year prayer. He's also there. He's right now and at the same time in Congo, in Australia. So if he has only two hands, boy, he will have to be going to work at the same time. So when we say the hand of God, is, they had to use an anthropomorphic language to describe an incredible God. When it says the eye of the Lord go to and fro, you think it's this kind of two eyes? For you to know it's not this kind of two eyes. I've met blind prophets before. They don't have physical eye. But if they tell you something is blue, boy, it is blue. Because the prophetic has nothing to do with natural eyes. Am I making sense to someone? So all this, the problem of the Western Hemisphere is that it is oftentimes the beginner of good things, and I am afraid it might destroy civilization. It might be the one that destroys civilization in its attempt to redefine God, redefine church, redefine Christianity, until even the bishops don't know where they are going and what they are doing. So when God speaks an anthropomorphic language, he is only using a language you can handle. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, that's why Moses said, I want to see you. God said, you can't see me and live because it's brighter than the noonday sun. Have you ever looked at the sun at noon before? You can't. If Moses had looked at God, he would melt. He didn't see God. He just saw shadow. And yet when he came down, what happened? They couldn't look at him because of the glory of his presence. Oh, somebody magnify the Lord. The challenge, the challenge of the West today is that somebody is using a secular mind to try to understand a biblical God. The divine and the human are not the same. Humanity cannot unravel divinity because divinity is the one that package humanity. Is somebody hearing me? I said, is someone hearing me? It's like for my son to try to tell the history and story of when I was born. He wasn't there. Even I too, I wasn't conscious. Praise God. So please, I'm somebody saying, uh, let's use a gender, uh, something, something for God. It's a waste of time. They fought this book several times. It's still standing. And it will continue to stand until Jesus comes. I just thought to touch on that. But so for you to see when the Bible never says, and God remembered, he has to use a language you can handle. We don't, that's why the Bible says we know in part and we understand in part. In fact, the scripture there says, uh, we see as through what? A dark Huh? 
A dark glass, the Greek word there is kalupti, which means covered. So that's why I tell you Revelation is apokalupsis, apokalupti, to remove the cover. So we see us through a cover. How can you see? Have you had a thick uh, uh, lace curtain in your house? Even when you think you are seeing outside, sometimes you, you see what you thought you saw. So when the Bible says, and God remember it, it's using a language we can handle. So tonight, when we say God will remember you, I believe God laid on my spirit today that your season has come. And I don't want to know who it is. Don't look at what you've been through. Don't look at the dark nights, the days you cried yourself to sleep because something is about to change. And that's why the Bible says, and God remembers Sarah. Hey! And when he remembers Sarah, it meant that he suspended what stopped Sarah. God will suspend everything that stops you. And God remembered Rachel, the one who was so beautiful, yet things didn't go well. I'm sure you've met people like that, very pretty. But just the tragedies of life makes their beautiful life and their experience not to be marriable. But God remembered Rachel. Someone is about to be remembered. Tonight, therefore, I'm going to promise to your life, you will have a testimony. Then the Bible goes on again and says, and God remembered Noah. Ah! There are Noahs who are connected tonight. God will remember you. I want your amen to be powerful this time. Why did I say Noah's? Because you see, the ark of Noah was locked from outside. Not inside. So Noah can't open. If God did not open the ark, Noah is done, it's gone, it's finished. Have you been in that place, that tight wall that there is no way out except the Lord? Tonight is your night. I wanted to just go out and begin to call names and minister one by one. This is the freedom I have for tonight. Maybe tomorrow we'll do that. But I came tonight to let somebody know you will be remembered. I said you will be remembered. I repeat, you will be remembered. When God remembers you, he gives you divine direction. First Kings 17 verse 1 to 9. We will not read the scriptures. I'll just be making reference. He said, go to the brook Cherith. There I have commanded a raven to feed you. Because God remembered the prophet. Go to Zarephath. For there I have commanded a widow. Ha, Renosha. Somebody say in this service tonight, I promise on your life that by a divine remembrance, she will receive direction. I declare to your life, receive direction. Direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. In the name of Jesus. Shout amen powerfully. When God remembers you, new things begin to happen. Isaiah 43, 16 to 19. You began this year broke, but you are ending this year with abundance. The kind of finance you've never seen before is coming your way. Somebody in this service, people you have never even seen, will be traveling to bring you money, bring you finance, bring you money, bring you finance, meet your need. Shout amen with power. When God remembers you, he puts a new song in your mouth. Psalm 40 verse 3 says he has put a new song in my mouth. Nakaturi and Nerosha. I prophesy on your life tonight. You will sing the song of victory, the song of joy, the song of testimony. God will remember you. Lift your hand and say, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Some of you, you've been through the been throughs. And so I'm sent to you tonight. God will remember you. When God remembers you, he causes a 
sudden visitation. Ezekiel 38 verse 8. After many days you will be visited. After many days you will be visited. And when God visits, <laughs> he takes the dead and turns it to life. In Ezekiel 37, he sends the prophet to the valley of the dry bones and said, can these bones live? Because if the bones live, the man will live. Every of the cells that give you life, that give you blood, are producing your bone. If the bones can live, then your life can oh, glory. Let me not go there tonight. So I prophesy on somebody today, you will be visiting. I like you to scream, visit me. Visit me. God will visit your house, visit your family. And in God's visitation, what never worked will begin to work. In God's visitation, the factory that closed down in your life, God will bring it alive. In God's visitation, in his remembrance, ah, you fasted, you prayed, you fasted, you prayed. I said, does God hear anymore? Does God see anymore? From the east, somebody will be sent to you. From the west, someone will come to you. From the north and the south, help us will connect with you. Shout yes. Say yes. When God visits you, there will be a sudden rise, a supernatural rise. You will be rising. I said, You will rise. You will rise. Psalm 44, verse 26. You will rise. Somebody's in the service today. Someone is trying to put you down, repress you, hold you, limit you, hold you in a place of no promotion. But I came tonight to let you know that story is changing. The man who will push you up is coming. The woman who will be used are coming. There will be a rising in your life. For mercy's sake. I love that verse. It says, arise for our help and redeem us for your mercy's sake. God will rise for you. In the name of Jesus. When there is a visitation from heaven, your expectation is fulfilled. Psalm 23 verse 18. When there is a visitation, Proverbs 23 18. When there is a visitation from heaven, your expectation. How many of you have expectations? You have dreams, aspirations, expectations you carry. And you are saying, God how long am I going to carry this expectation? Aliratoka. Renita Katorosa. Raya Yerosha. Kosa. There will be a testimony. There will be a testimony. There will be a testimony. I prophesy tonight there will be a testimony. I don't know. Somebody is connected to the altar tonight. Tonight your name is Bernard. I don't know where you are. You've had great expectations and you've had disappointments, but your season of a turnaround has come. And everyone who's hearing me tonight, for all that you have trusted God, you will be remembered. Touch yourself and say, I shall be remembered. I shall be remembered. I shall be remembered in the name of Jesus. Shout amen with power. When God remembers you, you get a miraculous escape from calamity, from trouble, from challenges. Psalm 71 verse 2. When God remembers a person, they are delivered from calamity. Every calamity that Satan has planned for this year, God is bringing you out. 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 You will not see it. It will not touch you. Not only you, everyone tied to your apron, tied to your destiny. Nakasu, Reneketo, Meretakasa. Ah! Because your life is precious. I declare tonight that God is bringing you out of calamity. Shout a powerful amen. 
when God remembers you Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 the heavens open upon you heaven of vision heaven of provision heaven of vision heaven of provision heaven of vision heaven of provision the Bible says on the fifth day no I want you to start from verse 1 in my 30th year in the fourth the month of the fifth day while I was among the exiles by the Kiba River the heavens were open and I saw a vision of God Ezekiel was still a slave there were slaves in Babylon but you see you can only enslave his body they could not enslave his spirit he had vision and he had provision he's called Ezekiel the son of Buzi a prophet of fire tonight I prophesy to your life in this season of divine remembrance things that have to do with your future God will visit you with it God will visit you with it he will show you visions he will give you answers he will show you vision he will give you answers everything that have beclouded your dream and your vision we clear it by the blood everything that have beclouded your vision and your dream of the spirit we clear it by the blood may your eyes be open may you see 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 in jesus name shout amen powerfully when god remembers you <laughs> you will be in this when you are in the season of divine remembrance shame will pack his load and go reproach will leave you dishonor will leave you psalm 69 19 every reproach every shame every embarrassment in the season of remembrance suddenly your story changes and the people who have reproached you now find that they have nothing to say anymore those who have scorned you find that god has shut their mouth those who have attacked you and tried to disgrace you and tried to shame you ah may god remember you may god remember you someone say remember me remember me i promise on you today may god remember you to remove shame may god remember you to remove reproach may god remember you to remove dishonor may god remember you every of these attacks will be removed your adversaries will be put to shame in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody said remember me say it again remember me say it louder remember me you see some people will try to reproach and laugh at you because you did not compromise they did not know that your season is best we have a lady in krcc nigeria she's a senior magistrate wanted to be a judge and so she cries to me pastor matthew i know you know people in this nation you can pull strings help me well i tried to pull strings but except the lord build the house they labor in vain they build it except the lord keep the city the watchman wakes i mean i pull the string to the to the highest point that you can pull a string they put her name on the list and then they find a fault in fact they cut down and say you are overqualified you are the best she has two masters she's a senior magistrate she qualifies and then they bring in the factor of corruption even in that kind of a system judges and they put people who are lesser in front and they con they con they 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 qualified those ones and took them in in the next six months she can't go back to her magistrate court because they've said bye-bye and they don't know where to put her they are already calling her my lord but my lord has no no court what an embarrassment what a pain but the bible says I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. She used every string I had, but the strings were not long enough. 
she used every connection. I mean, I pulled the strings, man. I really did pull the strings. They found all kinds of faults. They said there's a large sum of money we found in our account. Where did it come from? Because as a judge, you have to be able to explain. And it was her father's house that was sold. But by that time, they already have somebody to replace her with. But when Jehovah stepped in, everyone whom they considered before were put in lesser places. She was now flown to the one that was higher than all of them. You see, when she was not yet there, friends would call and be reproaching. So you have not yet resumed. Why haven't you resumed? And she will hear later that they were laughing behind. But when the Lord pulled the strings, when the Lord made it happen, he silenced all those who laughed, all those who mocked. Before Pastor Femi had to go be the one to speak at her thanksgiving. Tonight upon this altar, I prophesy of you. The people who have laughed have laughed too early. The people who mocked you have mocked you early. Heaven will move on your behalf. You will be remembered. You will be remembered. You will be remembered. Shout and receive it. Have a chance to get and give God a praise. Come on. In the season of divine remembrance, God gives you a celebration. Ah, even the celebration, you also, you are pinching yourself and saying, somebody tell me this is happening. Psalm 126 from verse 1. When God turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. That is a divine remembrance. When God restored the fortunes of the church, we were like those who dreamt. Oh, glory to God. Verse 2, put verse 2 on. Verse 2, please. Let's stay searching. Our mouths were filled with laughter. That's you. Our tongues with songs of joy. That's you. Then they began to say among the hidden. You know, when your breakthrough reaches a place where actually it is the gossips that are helping you to, to talk your breakthrough more than you. That's another level. Someone say that's another level. In fact, you are hearing your testimony from outside. How many are ready for that? You are hearing of your breakthrough from outside. That woman with the black head gear, with your winter coat on, you come. What's your name? Huh? Put your hand in my hand. I don't know what it is, but God said the thing that your family lost, there's going to be a restoration. Amen. Everything that seemed lost and that pained your heart. In fact, it really got to you, it broke you in some way. But God said there will be a restoration Amen. and a celebration and a laughter and they rejoicing open your hands open your hands i don't know what it is kabalo sheta play the keyboard for me ni kabaro sotaya ni ke proso i command a restoration everything lost coming back everything lost coming back tears wiped laughter back in your house celebration back in your house in the name of jesus yesterday will not be better than tomorrow but you will have a new tomorrow a new tomorrow a new tomorrow in jesus name god bless you look at me look at me look at me you have children do you have an adult son I see a young man, I don't know, I don't even know his age, he's somewhere between 20 and 35, but I'm going to pray for you, that the children God has given to you, this particular son, will end up bringing back testimony. Will bring back testimony. I don't know what the family lost, but God said to let you know there'll be restoration. Restoration of fortunes and restoration of testimony. Your tears will be wiped. There will be a lot of dance in the house again. 
in Jesus' name. Somebody praise the Lord for that. Give God praise. Give Him glory. When God remembers you, He makes you to be celebrated wherever you go. When God turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. Then our mouth was filled with joy. Then people began to talk of what God had done for us. In us, that kind of testimony that will cause people to celebrate. That kind of testimony that will shut the mouth of devils. Receiving the name of Jesus. 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 Alebo kotaya. Nareke koso kapa. Lika broso tali. Nimbre guzalereba. Neraya nosha. The lady again, I don't know what it is, but whatever you are given back, I see a key being given back into your hand. So get ready to repossess, 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 repossess in the name of Jesus. Somebody scream, remember me, remember me. When God remembers you, there is a favor that overwhelms your life. Then you know that the people will say this woman has been remembered. Because favor will overwhelm you. Favor will overtake you. Favor will be all around you. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 30 verse 5 to 7. And when this favor comes, the tears of yesterday will be wiped out. The pain of the past will be wiped out. I prophesy on someone today. You will be remembered. Kaleri. Reno shata, reko sekera, reto le remo kosa, rene kata yera, e prosikai. You will be remembered. I don't know why I keep being stuck on this woman. Um, was as if yesterday used to be better than recent times. Used to have a great time in the past, great work, great years. And suddenly things went down, but God said, "I'm in the work of restoration." I'm in the work of restoration. So get ready. Get ready. Even those who mocked are going to come back and say we are sorry for the things we said. How accurate is this prophetic word I'm giving you? I can't hear her. Very accurate. Okay. Praise the Lord. Oh, God is going to remember someone tonight. Somebody scream, remember me. Remember me, remember me, remember me. When God remembers you, breakthrough will meet with breakthrough. From breakthrough to breakthrough. From breakthrough to breakthrough. From breakthrough to breakthrough. Luke 137. From breakthrough to breakthrough. What had never been done before will be done for you. The kind, hey, the kind of testimony you've never had anyone give. You will be the one to give it. In the days of your remembrance, she will be the evidence. She will be the evidence. She will be the evidence of what God can do. She will be the evidence. She will be the evidence. She will be the evidence of what God can do. Somebody say, I receive it. Say it again, I receive it. From breakthrough to breakthrough. From breakthrough to breakthrough. From breakthrough to breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. When God remembers you, he opens the floodgates of mercy upon you. Not just throw a little mercy, but floodgates. I prophesy on you, Ecclesiastes 11 verse 3. The floodgates of mercy will open on you. Everywhere you go, people wanting to help you. People wanting to bless you. Mercy will follow you. Mercy will connect. Mercy will touch you. Mercy will bless you. The floodgate of mercy. Somebody say, remember me. Remember me. 
Tolerere, Tolerabosha, Yere Kosekaya, Ramosha Tatelere Raba, Raya Koseka, the floodgates of mercy. Ah, <laughs> you'll be living in a house you did not build. You'll be receiving the favors you did not work for. You'll be receiving the blessing you did not strive for. People will be looking for you to bless you. In the name of Jesus. Tonight he told me to announce that he will remember you. When God remembers you, he opens uncommon doors. Ah, unique doors. Supernatural doors. So that no man can take the glory. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. I told you about that, George. I pulled all the, ah, man, I know people. Pulled all the string. But God wanted to take all the glory. I'm telling you, <laughs> hey, ah, tonight, the door no man opened is opening for you. The door no man fixed is opening for you. The door no man opened is opening for you. The door no man fixed is opening for you in the name of Jesus. Strange doors, mega doors, major doors, unusual doors, supernatural doors, glory doors, awesome doors. Be open. Somebody say, remember me. Lift your hand again and say, remember me. Remember me. God will remember you. This is your season. Our doors of opportunities are opening. There are some of you, China, Africa, Europe, Asia, America, islands of the sea will open up to you. To do business, they will open up. To do ministry, they will open up. Places you never thought you would reach. The doors will open. And some of you, while you are seated in London, money will be looking for you from Dubai. It will come to connect you from America. Asiatic monies will look for you. Caribbean monies will look for you. European monies will look for you. Say, I receive it. Oh, somebody's going to have a testimony. Nalebosha. Kekerebosi. Rayatakabosha. Huh? Divine remembrance is a powerful thing. The Bible says, and God remembered Sarah. Hey, and God remembered Rachel, and God remembered Noah. When God remembers you, opposition, <laughs> anyone who lifts their hand in opposition, it will backfire in their face. Anyone who says, all right, I'm going to attack him, I'm going to attack her, boom, it will attack them. Psalm 7 verse 15 and 16. In the days of your remembrance. In the days of your remembrance. Every opposition will backfire. 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 The Amalekites and Midianites thought it was business as usual. Every year they will come. Pack the things that belong to the children of Israel. Book of Judges, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9. Every year they'll just be coming. Coming, coming, coming. Packing, packing, packing. Until God remembered. God remembered and raised a man that looked ordinary. And made him extraordinary. Ah! Reach a place. Gideon rose to another level where the Bible says uh, Gideon and his God. Or the God of Gideon. Or rather, when the, when the barley uh, loaf rolled into the camp of the enemy, the enemy said, that is the army of Gideon. The man who was nothing, but by divine remembrance, the enemy began to say, that's the army, that's Gideon and his army. When God remembers you, they don't know you. But the day will change. The story will change. I lay hand on you tonight. 
Everyone who have raised their hand in opposition, their voices in opposition, known and unknown, heaven silences them. God shuts their mouth. I said, God shuts their mouth in the name of Jesus. I said, God shuts their mouth. There'll be victory in your house and testimony in your life. Put your hands together and bless the Lord. The times a battle goes on for long, then one day God remembers you. When God remembers you, you become a candidate of mega testimony. How many would like to give a mega? Mega. Not just a testimony. The testimony that will, that will make that will make the devil angry and make God glorify. Rev Ezekiel 17, 24. Someone say mega testimony. Oh, say it again, mega testimony. Oh, say it one more time, mega testimony. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, have brought down the high tree and exalted the low tree, dried up the green tree and made the dry tree to flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken and have done it. They have looked down at you, but God said it's about to raise you. And the ones who walked in arrogance, he said it's about to take them down. Mega testimony is coming to your house. Mega testimony will visit your life in the days of your remembrance. Ayata Kebrodosi Renekata Ayatokoshkaya. The person who mocked you. <laughs> the person who mocked you is coming back to beg you. In the day of your mega testimony, God wipes your tears, fills your mouth with laughter, turns your life around, gives you glorious testimony, raises you up, shuts the mouth of devils. In the name of Jesus, you will be remembered. 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 In Jesus' name. Just to get a blessed along the way. Someone say, Remember me. Say it again, remember me. Ah, when God remembers a person, things just totally change. Your defeat turns to victory. In the days of your remembrance, right before your eyes, it will look like a film. So Isaiah 58 verse 8. So suddenly, things just change. Things just change. Defeat becomes victory because it's your season of remembrance. Things just change. The Bible says, then your light shall break forth like the morning your healing shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness will go before you the glory of the lord shall be what your rear guard the kabo the kabod the hebrew word there is kabod <laughs> or kayil the kayil of god will be your rear guard so that anywhere you enter some may not even know who you are, but they know this woman is not ordinary. This man is not ordinary. Because you are a carrier. You are a carrier of glory. And so I prophesy to your life today. In the name of Jesus, what you knew as defeat before is turning to victory. It's 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 turning to victory. Open your hand. Anybody who's gone through something in recent time, and you got letters of disappointment, saying this, saying that, the attack of the enemy on your dream, on your vision, as you have opened your hand today, I will believe that God's hand is in your hand. And so from tonight, things will turn around. Favor will come on your hand. This hand will handle blessings. Handle favor, handle testimony. With this hand, you will clap unto the Lord 
for what he will do. Then the whole world will know that God has visited you. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, from defeat to victory. Now slap those hands together and praise. Come and give God praise. Somebody said, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. God will remember you. Wherever you are tonight, before I close, I prophesy. In this season of your remembrance, lack will turn to surplus. I say again, lack will turn to surplus. In the days of your remembrance, disappointment will turn to fulfillment. You will be fulfilled. I say again, you will be fulfilled. In the days of your remembrance, your hardship will turn to comfort. The place where you need to be hardship will become the place of comfort. In the days of your remembrance, stagnation will become progress. The place of stagnation, no going forward, no going backward, no movement. From today, progress. Story changing. In the days of your remembrance, delay will turn to quick manifestation. Quick manifestation. Quick manifestation. Nakale Bosha. Quick manifestation. If you started this year with luck, you'll finish it with abundance. If you struggle in the area of finance, you'll come back to give testimony. If you struggle in the area of your spiritual life, from tonight, God will remember you. He will visit you. In the name of Jesus. Anyone hearing me tonight, the book of Hosea says, come, let us return to the Lord. He has broken us, but he will mend us. After three days, after two days, he will visit us. On the third day, we will rise again. Amalosha, in In this season of overflowing stream, the broken person will be lifted again. I said the broken person will be lifted again. You 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 will be lifted again. Lifted again, you will be lifted again, and there will be a resurrection. The book of Hosea says, and on the third day we will rise. I command your dreams to rise, your vision to rise, your dreams to rise. Somebody scream, remember me. Remember me. In the days of your remembrance. KRCC and everyone connected around the world. Closed doors will become open doors. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Every door that was shut on you. Doors that were slammed on you. Some people did it in spite. Some did it out of arrogance. A hand bigger than them will open the door. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day and night. Men will bring to you the forces of the Gentiles and kings that their kings may be brought to you. The forces of Gentiles means the blessing of Gentiles. They'll be bringing it to you. Everyone who has a business here, people will be bringing ideas to you, bringing monies to you, bringing glory to you. In the name of Jesus, I declare today God will remember you. I say God will remember you. When God remembers a person, they are weeping, becomes a reason to laugh. And a season of joy. A reason to laugh. A season of joy. A reason to laugh. A season of joy. A reason to laugh. A season of joy. Ha ha on the devil. Ha ha on the devil. God will give you reason to laugh. The season of joy. Oh, come on. I want you to, with your eye of the spirit, see that reason to love and rejoice and begin to give God some glorious praise.
your season of divine remembrance, your weakness will turn to strength. In your season of divine remembrance, <laughs> your hidden star will become a rising star. Oh, say a powerful amen. Daniel 12, 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. They that turn many to righteousness as the stars. Do you know there are stars in your house? Your children, your grandchildren, and you too. So today I command, no dark cloud will stop your shining. No dark cloud will stop your shining. You will rise. You will rise. You will shine. You will rise. You will shine. Shout them in with power. Somebody I know sent me a text today and said, Oh, please pray for me, man of God. Pray for my son. He just had an accident in school affecting his jaw. And they might be doing an operation. Please pray for him. As I close my eyes to pray for the boy, I don't see accident. I see his future, and it's an unusual star. I just told the mother, well, it is well for this jaw thing. Over. I, I, that's not what I see. I see an eminent future. She said, you've never met my son, but he's a very gifted boy. Well, God shows things. So today I prophesy that that star you carry, that star God said you are, shall not go down. You will be a star in the dark nights of life. You will be a star. You will shine. I said you will shine in the name of Jesus. Your family shines. Your children will shine. You will stand out in the name of Jesus. I lay hand on somebody today. In the season of your remembrance, complaint becomes testimony. Complaint becomes testimony. You know, suddenly you just find that you used to be complaining, then you find there's nothing to complain about. I lay hand on you right now. What you've been complaining and grieving about shall become your testimony. In the season of your remembrance, I love this one. You will not be stranded on the highway of life. When God remembers a man, he will never be stranded. Today, oh, somebody is hearing me tonight. It feels like you are stranded. Not enough money, not enough this, not enough that. But tonight on this altar, I speak into your life. She will not be stranded. She will be remembered. 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 Somebody is looking for you to bless you. Pull it to yourself and say, That's me. Someone is looking for you to put abundance in your hand. Somebody say, That's me. I like you to say, someone is looking for me to bless me beyond measure. Why my tears and make me celebrate? Shout amen three times. When God remembers you, those ordained to help you in any nation, they'll be looking for you. There's somebody, you know, the, the amazing thing is that somebody has been ordained to help you. Someone has been ordained to bless you. Rekotabalija, nerekabarasa, rekotokapaka, renamagarosopa, rekoteka. Someone has been ordained and they are looking for you. Isaiah 46 verse 10 and 11. Isaiah 46 verse 10 and 11, someone has been ordained to help you. And they are in various nations, not one nation. Isaiah 46 verse 10 and 11, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel. Counsel there is the Hebrew word for purpose and burden and counsel. 
and uh, purpose. My purpose will stand. I will do all my pleasure. Verse 11. Verse 11. I will call a bird of prey from the east. The man who will execute Matthew Ashimolowo's purpose is going to come from a far country. Indeed, I have spoken it. And it will come to pass. The man who will build that house you want to build, put that money in your pocket. Look at me. There are some of your children. The person who would put money aside for scholarship of your son, your daughter, in some university. He doesn't know right now. He's gathering the money. It shall be for your blessing. So tonight I prophesy on somebody. I declare to your life. I sent your life. People ordained to help you in nations. They are rising for you right now. They are rising for you. 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 In Jesus' name. When God remembers you, people will no longer use your old problem to describe you. Because God will put an end. They will not be able to use it. They will only have to say was. Was. When they will describe Hannah, they said, ha, who was? Ha, who was? That's a funny English, isn't it? Ha, who was barren? Ha, who was? It was worse, not is. They will not use problem to describe you. Only testimony. Put your hands again and begin to bless the Lord. Today. Somebody scream, remember me. Say it again, remember me. Visit me, Lord. Remember me. Remember me. I'm about to close two more tonight. When God remembers you, he intervenes at all times of your life. Not, not January, not February, not in the middle of the year, no end of the year, all times. Joshua chapter 10, from verse 12 to 14, when God remembers you, ah, live rosy. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord. In the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, he said in the sight of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibeon. Moon, in the valley of Aijalon. So the sun stood still. The moon stopped till the people had revenge upon their enemies. <laughs> this is awesome. When time stops, because your need have to be met. That is another level. Somebody's in this service today, God will take you to that level. You will not be a beggar. And you will not be stranded. You will not be a beggar. And you will not be stranded. You will not be a beggar. And you will not be stranded. You will not be a beggar. And you will not be stranded. In Jesus' name. Last one for tonight, Isaiah 22, verse 25. When God remembers you, limitations, barriers. Limitations, barriers, they disappear. Limitations, barriers. They just disappear because God remembered you. In that day, says the Lord of hosts, the peg that was fastened in the secure place will be removed. Cut down, it will fall. The burden upon it will be cut off for the Lord has spoken it. The burden against Tyre, will you ships of Tarshish. In that day, so I pray for you today, that every limitation, you see this peg here was meant to fasten and hold down. So you find some people, they are unable to go far. But when God remembers you, you know some people think they will always meet you where you used to be. But these overflowing streams, tonight, the third night of the overflowing streams, I prophesy on somebody, both in this hall, and around the world what held you down lets you go yeah. I said whatever held you down must let you go shake yourself and say let me go 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 let me 
go, let me go. In Jesus' name. Some people, we know who would have pegged them down. No, you will not die without joy. Some lack have pegged them down. We free you from today. Some situation, visa problem, that one, this one. Tonight, I pour oil on you. And I command a change of story. A change of story. You will celebrate. In Jesus' name. Somebody bless the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know you have received tonight. There shall be a manifestation. There will be a performance of his word in your life in the name of Jesus. A divine performance. Hallelujah. I want us to give our seed, our tithes, our offering right now. I want you not to leave here and those watching also online. Don't... Uh, think that it, this is different from the service. It's part of the service. Amen? And it's part of our worship. Jesus said in John 12, 24, except a corn of 